Oh, I'll talk to you this weekend. When you walked out, I said, I said, I won't fucking hear from you. I didn't even hear you say that. Unless they put you in jail again. <laughs> they ever put you in jail, I put No, I did go to Lamb Families this weekend. Was it cool? It was. Um, I didn't even get to do shit yet because it rained some yesterday. We got there pretty early. We got there by just after 10. But the rain moved in around noon. And we'd been doing some stuff. Rain moved in, so we went to a different part of it and uh, the little nature center and walked around in that. Even though it was raining, you weren't getting real wet. Is there like a zoo or something there? Yeah, like the, so their nature center has like an exhibit. You can go walk through it. All the animals that are there are rescues, like things that they found wounded, caught, you know, trapped in something or sick. Um, <clears throat> but they've got a place where you walk through there. Um, you saw the picture of the copperheads and rattlesnakes in the building that you that. can look at. Uh, I just posted one picture of the copperhead they're feeding. Um, but the outside, you can see like bald eagle, coyote, uh, red wolf. Um, they've got owls, um, hummingbirds galore out there. Um, turkeys, deer, uh, just all kinds of stuff that you can see that are the rescues. And then you go back out, and uh, there's like a little you know room there that they do showings of the different animals and stuff like that. But uh, are the hummingbirds rescues? Uh, no, no, they're just wild. I guess they just have a lot of they them there. They have the right plants for them. Yeah, and they have feeders out there. I've never seen that many hummingbirds. If you go out and stand in the middle, it's just like, you can hear them just going all around. It sounds like you're in a bee's nest. But uh, we did that, and then we went to the other end of the LBL, and we hiked for just about six miles. And uh, we, were, we got a mile into it, and I noticed it looked pretty, like, pretty much like real hiking. And like, I kind of figured she would pick one that wasn't. She's like, I picked one of these that says moderate to hard because I didn't want us to, you know, not get anything out of it. And I said, let me see the map. So, <laughs> Double black diamond. Yeah, so I look at it. Okay, and you've ridden, uh, you've done trails and stuff. So, like, you know, if you have a mile marker here and a mile marker here, and it looks like it's a really long way, it's probably because it's mostly flat, so it's all stretched out. If you have a mile marker here and a mile marker here, the only way to get a mile out of that short little distance is because it's all up and down, up and down, and up and down, and up and down. And so uh, there were two or three of those in our little section, and I mean like 500 yards of steep climb. However, it was really cool, and we, you know, we, we had a good time with it. Uh, it was super humid and hot, but it made for made for a fun trip. But we got to do that. Then went into the little bison and elk prairie part of it. And saw some bison and elk. Got really close to a couple elk. But you can't get. You're not out there with them. You're behind a fence. Uh, you're out there with them, but you're in your car. Like you drive up and you can stop. And you know, like there's all warnings. If you see animals within 200 feet, do not be outside of your car. What you guys drive? Truck. But uh, of course, there's people standing outside their car, video, and I was like, this sounds like this could get good. Like we might get to see, you know, when good animals go bad type of thing. Like I'm kind of excited. You might have to call State Farm Insurance. State Farm Insurance, come here. Yeah, if it, like the commercial that has the bison that's uh, ramming the truck. But, uh, yeah, no, it was really cool. And it was, uh, there's a lot of fishing out there. But I remembered when we got there that you said it was like a razor destination. Dude, there were like lines of cars unloading razors and four-wheelers and stuff like that and all over. Turkey Bay? They were just all over the park. I don't know where they go. All around the park? Mm -hmm. You were at Turkey Bay. They weren't, they weren't driving around, but they were all just dragging them and coming back and forth, and I don't know where they were going to and from. Because, you know, you can um, <clears throat> like you can only off-road at Turkey Bay. Mm -hmm. But if you have a license plate... There's other trails you can ride if like you have a license plate. Because when they went through there, there's all those dirt roads, hundreds of miles of dirt roads back in there, because they have to leave them open to get to the mm -hmm. graveyard. Yeah, and that's going to say, there's all say graveyard. So if you, got, if you got an enduro bike... As long as you got a license plate, I wonder if my license plate is it in Tennessee or is it in Kentucky? It right wouldn't there? matter. It wouldn't matter as long as you have it. So we could, in theory, plate. we could drag the razors up there, unload them, and sure. still run the road with them because that's not a that's a medium speed road. Yep. There was a bunch of stuff like that up there, and it would have been better if we hadn't rain, but we got to do we still got to do a lot. We were definitely tired by the time we left. We uh we worked on the house. Cut a bunch of shit, got a bunch of debris and stuff pulled out of the side yards. And just a lot of lawn work started fucking raining. 
so we uh, packed up and came this way to work on the other place, mm -hmm. and uh, it wasn't raining here. Amanda's like, man, it's boring. What are you going to do? I said, well, we're going to drive 10 miles from here and hope it's not raining, and it mm -hmm. wasn't. Yep. Never rained at that house yesterday. We got a little bit while we were out there, but not bad. That's what, I mean, that's what we did there. It's, it's cool that the trace, that, that area that they're on, is big enough you can do that. If it's storming on one end, you just drive to the other, and it's probably not storming. Yeah, it's in two states. Yeah. It's, it's a big old place. It's huge. So I broke, uh, I had one mower down for some broken shit, and the mower that was running, I broke that deck, so they were able to pull the deck off. So the mower deck is 54 inches, I think. Maybe mm -hmm. it's 62. I don't know what size. It's pretty big. And, uh, I've got two almost identical mowers, so there's two towers that come up on the deck that are welded in like a U-channel, and that's where all your adjustment points, so it pulls the deck up and down. Mm -hmm. Well, one of those towers ripped off. Fucking thing. You can't keep this. On its own. It did, it, on its own. I just, so they were able they to pull... They don't make them like they used to. Yeah. They don't... Yeah, it's like they're making them out of plastic or something. Fucking craftsmen. So, <laughs> I need a... I need a actual Komodo mower or something, but I don't want a zero turn yet because the property's not ready for it. I need more of a lawn tractor type deal. And those yeah. are working well. You need one of those big front cuts that we used to the city. It's, it'll turn almost to zero, but it's got the big tires on the front. That's the smaller I, yeah. ones on the back that are rear steer. No, I'll get shut. You know, it's, it's it's kind of one of them you know what I'm talking about? They have a huge cross bar on them. They're right like it's almost, cut. Like they're huge. It's almost there. Um, so they were able to pull the deck off the one. And they put the box blade on the tractor, but the tractor started just blowing hydraulic fluid. So they put that away. The Jack, Jack said he ordered that part. It'll be in probably the here. Yeah, probably here today. So that'll get, he'll get, we'll get that all done. And, uh, won't be hard to please. So one mower's running. The tractor will be back up hopefully today or tomorrow. And then uh, I got a fucking mower of some sort. Mower, mower. Well, I bought them Craftsman because they were here locally, you know, mm -hmm. and I knew we were going to tear them up. I was going to say, they're good for the little stuff like that because they're not crazy they expensive. okay. Yeah. It's just when you hit those fucking stumps. Yeah. It'll throw you right off that mower. It'll literally throw your ass off on the ground when you hit those stumps. <laughs> and you can't see them because the ground's up a little. Is this yeah. habanero one hot? No. Yes. No, it's not. It's really hot. I tried it and I don't like spicy stuff and I didn't think it was hot. You sure you got your rabbit? Mm -hmm. One of the Mongoloids got all over the side. I was there when I picked it up. I didn't say that Mongoloid. A, lo a likely story. Well, it was. So Cody's back. You can tell. He's the mayor of Havasu City, Arizona. <laughs> he had to go out there and mayor and do some mayor and stuff. Got a bite to it. And yesterday was James Hicks' birthday. Yeah. <laughs> So he brought me some donuts for his birthday. Brandles. I like the little donuts make everything better. How was your uh, dinner? How old are you? How old are you? 42. 42? Mm -hmm. I thought you were a lot younger than me. Well, somebody said I was 35, so I went with it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'd say. Ain't that much difference. Seven years, a few years here seven, or there. Seven years. Yeah. Oh. You ate at Morocco? No, we ended up going to used to be Neil Miles. What's the name of it now? Blues Landing oh. or something. How was it? Just like it always is. Oh, okay. I mean it was good. Mediocre, not as good as it was when it opened. Just depends. Depends on what you get. Crab legs were good. The, the oysters it's hit and miss, were, man. The oysters were awesome yesterday. They were good. It hits it's hit and miss. So sometimes they it's like the oysters came out of a can and they just put them on this some time shells. Good. And sometimes it's like when you get the crab legs, they're perfect. And sometimes it's like they took the crab legs that were cooked, fucking refroze them, and cooked them again. It was all good yesterday. Now the fish, they didn't cook my the, the Cajun catfish. They didn't cook it long enough, but everything else was real good. It was perfect. They still have everything they had before. That's the first time we've been since they changed the name. What's it called? Blues Landing or something. Hmm. It was the exact same place we went yeah. a yeah. hundred times. Yeah, I just wondered if it was... He said he got tired of paying the royalties, so he... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess that back. makes sense. He just made it his own. Two sides to every story. You never know, man. All right. They got some good waitresses. A couple of the girls are real good waitresses. Yeah. <clears throat> now, we was going to go to the 
I didn't want to drive that it's far. It's a long drive. Exactly. That's what I thought. I was like, I don't want to ride that far. Let's just go ahead. Uh, have you been to Rongo? Yeah. I thought he had. Never been with us? Did you like the, where did we go, Whiskey Kitchen? No, we went uh, to uh, Cane Prime. Prime. Cane Prime. Did you like that? Mm-hmm. You like Morocco? It's like that, except sushi only. And that whole area down there, it's all a conglomerate. Like, if you buy a gift card for that area, you can use them in any mm-hmm. of those restaurants. Yeah. And Morocco is somehow tied with Cane Prime. Yeah. When you look at the website, it's the same place. Shitload of work out there, like so much of it that's in the way. And uh, <clears throat> sitting out there, I was gonna clean it all up Friday. A bit more there. We got we got three dudes down there, two three dudes right now cleaning. They got a shitload of finished work down there. I don't know who worked this weekend. Well, I came in at seven Saturday morning, and they weren't there. And then a few hours later, when I went to take off, the parking lot <clears throat> was full. I never even walked into the sew shop. I come by one morning at like. 3.30 in the morning, there was a car down there working. 3.30? Yeah. 4.30. 4.30, 3.30, 4.30 was early. Like, yeah, we are growing just around 4.30 every morning. Drives like a little SUV? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. She bought a, uh, so, she bought a Range Rover. It's Rover, and that's what I thought. I didn't know which one. So what do you think of a Rover? I said, I love it. You're going to spend $1,000 <laughs> every time it goes in the shop. But yeah, I was surprised. I was like, what the hell? The brake rotors are proprietary. The fucking wiper blades are proprietary. Like, you can't go buy a wiper blade at Walmart and put it on a fucking Range Rover. Huh. That sucks. It's a great car. It's beautiful. I mean, I love it. But for a person, like, when people ask me what I think of the Rover, should they get one? Yeah. Yeah. Should you? Definitely I heard if you'll buy one new where you in four years you get rid of it after it's not new no more mm-hmm. that's how you do real good with it huh yeah lease or trade keep it, it back four years from being brand new and then do away with it most so people it don't start drive having any problems yeah but as a daily like that. as a daily driver though mm-hmm. yeah it does drive nice it's the amenities that you get with it all the onboard stuff is what makes them cool. Man, you can get in a, an old Range Rover or even an old Porsche or any of that mm-hmm. stuff like that. You know, 2006, 2008 car like that, those things that are in there, the amenities that are in them, are just now showing up in yeah. new vehicles, US new vehicles. That's what <clears throat> that 05 truck is literally. As stock as I could possibly get. What, yeah. I like it. It does everything I need it to do. Door truck? Mm-hmm. Your truck's really nice. But it's yeah, just, yeah. it's very, very stock, but it's a low complication, too. Aren't you glad we didn't let you buy that Nissan Frontier? <laughs> yeah. What is that Titan that I was looking at? I'm glad I didn't get a Titan. Same difference. Yeah, I've heard nothing, <sighs> i heard nothing positive. Aren't you glad you didn't get a... They'd be whining about this. Gas mile? It's eight mile to a gallon. Yeah, it's not going to eight miles a gallon. Even, I mean, even Justin's Tundra, he said, so when do you get to the gallon? I said, Dep- what is, what I'm, depends what I'm doing. And so when we drove to Atlanta, we were averaging about 24, 25. Yeah. He's like, are you shitting me? And I was like, because we had all that stuff in the back. He was like, he was like my car gets about 12 unloaded. My big truck gets like, eight. Yeah. I was like, eh. But I got fucking 37 inch tires on there. Well, I was going to say, yours is basically carrying a load anyway. The tires, wheels, and whatever else you got in the truck. Alright, let's keep this short. I got a bunch of shit I gotta do before we go to the gym. Alright.